This video attempts to explain how log tables can be used for arithmetic calculations like multiplication, division and exponents. This is a log table and this is an anti-log table. All logarithms here are to the base 10. We use certain simple properties that is log AB is log A plus log B. Log A by B is log A minus log B. Log A raised to M is M log A. Now to calculate log 23.6827, there are two parts, the characteristic that is the part before the decimal point and the mantisa that is the part after the decimal point. Log 23.6827, the characteristic is 1. There are two digits before the decimal point, so 2 minus 1 is 1. Log 236.82, the characteristic is 2. Log 0 0.368, characteristic is 0 minus 1, that is bar 1. Log 2.368, characteristic is 1 minus 1, which is 0. Log 0 0.0236, characteristic is 2 bar. To calculate mantisa, we consider the first four significant digits. For instance, to calculate Mantisa of 0.02368, we look at 23 in the log table, 23 under 6. So going back to the log table, 23 under 6 is 3729 and under 8 is uh, 15. So 3729 plus 15 would give you 3744. So the mantisa would be 3744. Log 0 0.2368 would be bar 1.3744. To calculate anti log of 1.7682, in the anti log table, we look at 76 under column 8. So going back to the anti log table, we look at 76 under column 8. That is 5861 and under 2 it would be 3. So 5861 plus 3 would give you 5864. And we look at the number of digits 1.7682. So we put the decimal point after 2. 1 plus 1 that is 2. So anti log of 1.7682 would be 58.64. We put the decimal point after two digits because 1 plus 1 is 2. Anti log of 2.7682 would be 5.86.4. We put the decimal point after three digits. Coming to simple table calculations, this is a multiplication problem. If we have to evaluate 23.87 into 486.32, we first put y as 23.87 into 486.32. So log y would be log 23.87 plus log 486.32. Characteristic of uh, 23.87 would be 1. So going to the log table, we look at 23 under 8, which is 3766 and under 7, it is 13. So 3766 plus 13 would give you 3781. Again, log 486.32, the characteristic is 2. So we look at 48 in the log table. We look at 48 under 6, which is 6766 and under 2. So 6748. 8 under 6 would give you 6866 plus 2. That would give you 6869. So when we add both, you get the answer as 4.065. So y would be anti log 4.065. Again, go to the anti log table. We look under 40. No, we look under 06. 0, 06 with 5 would give you 1161. So to calculate anti log, we look at the decimal digits, digits after the decimal point. So you get 1161 
because the digit before the decimal point is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, so we put the decimal point after 5 digits. So y would be 11610. This is a division problem. Evaluate 23.87 by 486.32. We start with let y equal to 23.87 by 486.32. So log y would be log 23.87 minus log 486.32. We have already calculated how to calculate log 23.87 and 486.32. We have explained that. So this would be 1.3781 minus 2.6869. When you subtract, you get bar 2.6912. I have explained the subtraction here. When you come to 3 minus 6, we have borrowed 1. So it is 12 minus 6, 6. We have borrowed 1 here. So this is 0. And you have minus 2. So it becomes bar 2.6912. So we need to calculate anti-log of bar 2.6912. So in the anti-log table, you look at 69 under 1. 69 under 1 would be 4909. And under 2, it is 2. So 4909 plus 2 would give you 4911. And you have anti-log bar 2. So that would be 0 0.04911. So your answer would be 0 0.04911. Coming to a problem on exponents. 0 0.7365 raised to 1 by 3. Let y equal to 0 0.7365 raised to 1 by 3. So log y would be 1 by 3 log 0.7365. Now coming to the log table. Going to log, we look at 73 under 6 would be 8669 plus 5. Under 5, it is 3. So 8669 plus 3 would give you 8672. So you get 1 by 3 bar 1.8672. As I explained before, the characteristic of log 0.7365 would be bar 1. To divide bar 1.8672 by 3, we write this as 2 plus bar 3.8672 because minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. So this is 2 by 3 plus bar 1.2890. When you divide it, bar 3 by 3 is 1 and the rest is normal division. So this is 0.666 plus bar 1.2890. When you add it, you would get bar 1.9550. So we need to calculate y as anti-log of bar 1.9550. So again, we go to the anti-log table. We look at 0.95 under 5. 0.95 under 5 would give you 9016. So we would write it as 9016 and it is bar 1, so it is 0 0.9016. So that would be the answer.